A leg raise is going to be different from a reverse crunch. It's going to progress. You're going to keep those feet fully extended, heels together, knees together. Draw those knees into the chest, up high, tight. And I want those hips off the ground. You're holding one of that uh, heavier kettlebell. Uh, progress it by going for a lighter kettlebell, uh, oftentimes, uh, or no kettlebell. Uh, either hands up overhead is still a little bit easier than hands right here, but I don't want to press those hands in because we're not, we're not going for this. We're getting that extra like push. All right, slow control. Get those abs firing up in tight if that's the case. So I like to leave it hands off the ground or just fingertips fairly long. Uh, but a leg raise, you'll tend to see people that will separate those legs, externally rotate uh, those hips, uh, the femur inside of the hip joint. We want to fight that. That's why I'm looking for those heels and those toes touching, those knees touching, to make sure we're rocking those abdominals and getting full flexion, not rotation. 